to my channel. Um, I am at the railway station. We are heading to Hong Kong again to replace the batteries for our customers. Uh, this time, we are going to upgrade to the Sunny CE1. Both from the original 40 kilowatt hour to our custom 62 kilowatt hour. The batteries are already in Hong Kong, so now we are going over to get the job done. So let's go. Okay, we were just arrived in Hong Kong. Um, we will install the batteries here. These are the two 62 kilowatt hour battery packs we shipped in earlier. But uh, we won't be able to install both today. The garage is quite busy. There's a lot of cars waiting for service. So we will start with one pack today and install the second one next week. Here is our customer's car. It's a 2019 Nissan Leaf ZE1. It originally comes with a 40 kilowatt hour battery. Now let's lower the car and take a look at the current condition of the battery. Okay, the car has done 109,000 kilometers. Um, and there's a worrying message showing on the dashboard. Check the lift by. We can see the SOH is at um, 84%, HX is only 52%. The customer normally charges the car with level 2 AC charging. Okay, read the DT says. Uh, we can see the insulation fault. The owner told me he has had to clear the error code using the spy just to keep driving. And yesterday, the car stopped the charging altogether. So replacing the battery is urgent. Okay, lift up the car and remove the original battery. Okay, we were taken the old battery out. And now let's take a look inside. Uh, some of the cells are slightly swollen, but uh, it's not too bad. Compared to what we were seeing before, uh, this is actually in decent shape. Alright, time to remove the old battery modules and start installing the new ones. Install the rubber spacer. Connect all the cables. For the ZE1 battery, we need to trim the fuse cover slightly so that it fits properly with the new bus bar layout. Alright, the battery is fully installed now. Let's take a closer look. Everything is clean and compact, with tidy wiring and a solid overall finish. Okay, let's plug in the OBD2 cable to check the battery status. SOH 100%, HX 97%, the voltage difference is only 20 mV. Perfect. We will get it on the car and run a quick test before sealing it up. Uh, we see the warning message on the dashboard. 
We need to clear the error codes by lip spy. Clear them one by one. All right, all the error codes has been cleared. Now we can start the car. Uh, no more boring messages on the dashboard. At just uh, 39% SOC, we were already seeing 198 kilometers of range. Great. All right, we are out for a quick test drive. Start up is smooth. Acceleration feels great. Uh, region is working just like it should and the lift spy data looks super stable Now we are testing the charging The charging light flashes normally So everything looks good Okay, time to seal up the battery and that wraps up today's battery upgrade. Everything went nice and smooth. And the next day, the owner sent us a photo of the dashboard after a fully charge. 456 kilometers of range. No more range anxiety. Now he can use the AC with no worries at all. Okay, that's it for today's Nissan Leaf battery upgrade in Hong Kong. A big thanks to the garage team and of course to the Leaf owner for trusting us with the job. So if you want to upgrade your own battery, whether for more range, and better performance or just a peace of mind, feel free to reach out. Uh, we are always here to help. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow for more EV upgrades. We will get more coming soon. So see you guys in the next video.